My name is Katrina Lindy Moriarty. I am the library director here at the Portage Lake District Library, and that is where we are currently. So librarians uh, have a variety of different tasks that they do. A lot of people kind of think of librarians as the ones that help you pick out books and check you out at the circulation desk, but we do a lot of programming, we do a lot of resource development, and other resource gathering and opportunities on the side to make sure that lifelong learning is at the forefront of for all of our patrons and residents. Some programs that we tend to do uh, include early literacy, such as story times, with, um, where there's a couple stories read, as well as a craft to kind of fine tune those motor skills. But we also can do things like book clubs, cookbook clubs, STEM activities, grab and go kits, as well as learning new craft uh, skills and different, exploring different hobbies. Along with the different programs that we offer in-house, we also try to work with community partners to greater expand our both of our bubbles and the resources that we can offer. There's um, artist in residence programs that we can do with teens and local artists, and just really kind of bringing you know, one group from the community in with another and, and being the living room of sorts for the community at large. So the library uh, not only offers books and physical materials that you might be more used to, but we also offer internet services, printing services. If you don't have a, access to a computer, you can access one here at the library. We even have laptops that can circulate. This is on top of other services such as test proctoring, which you may be hard pressed to find somebody to help out with, as well as just generally being here as a, a person to ask for advice of. You know, Google will give you all the answers in the world, but a librarian with the right amount of questions can get you the one you actually want. Some more uncommon services that the library can offer include um, like our tool lending library. So if you ever needed a power tool or a saw or a sewing machine, the library here actually has those where you can rent and take it home for your projects. We also try to work uh, seasonally throughout the year with different partners for tax prep, um, for IT support and other kind of wraparound services where you may not exactly know who to turn to within the community. We, we're the central hub for those types of services. And so behind the scenes, we have a team of librarians that kind of help to organize all of these moving pieces. Um, so for here, a kind of a mid-sized library, we have a programming librarian who helps us reach out to community partners and make sure that we're not double booking our program space and making sure too that everyone has a seat at the table and making our programming as accessible as possible. I think what's important for me about libraries is that sometimes we are the first responders uh, in terms of social services for the community. We're the place that when people lose their jobs or are in kind of a personal crisis, they'll come because they know that the library is a safe place and they know that the librarians have gone through training and upkeep our resources. So we may not uh, have the final answer, but we know who to direct them to to kind of get the help that they need. I think that that's very important, along with all the different literacy and programs that we do. That's why I do this job. All right, so we actually begin our, a librarian begins their day before it opens to the public. And so we have a couple tasks that we need to do before the library is ready to open. <laughs> so the first set of tasks before opening happens in this room. We have items that come in from other libraries and we have to figure out which patron that those go to. So here um, are ILS and ILL, uh, both you know for the catalog and for delivery. That librarian will kind of work at this workstation to process those holds that come in and also any new books that come in that need to be catalogued. Back at the circ desk, before we open, we want to make sure that we go through our opening procedures and make sure everything is tidied up before patrons arrive. Throughout the day, well, the circ desk is quite busy and we'll have patrons checking out materials, asking their questions, and just checking in on various services for, that the library provides. We also have 
things like a multifunctional printer, faxing services, and other different inquiries. So it stays quite busy for our frontline staff members. Um, further into the office, we have librarians that do a little bit more specialization. I mentioned the programming librarian. We also have a business librarian that makes sure all of our bills and invoices get paid and helps out with our technology services. So in the kids' areas and throughout the library, we also make sure to do walks around the building to make sure that the space gets reset after patrons use it. Uh, so it can be resetting the chairs, putting toys away, um, or if you find a stack of books that's on the end of a shelf, getting them back to where they need to go. We also have volunteers and pages that help us process our returns um, through check-in and then getting them back on their place on the shelf. Through here, we have our community and program room, and during the day we might be doing prep work for uh, upcoming programs or setting up the space for Zoom calls or any other community members that need to use it for their groups. So a lot of our programs and those that want to use our programming space like to use our overhead projector and screen as well as our laptop to do their presentations. Sometimes we do movies in here and other kind of mixed media. When we do um, craft demos, sometimes we'll, we are able to bring up a YouTube video or something um, posted onto a craft site and we can kind of follow along with that process. So being able to understand the ins and outs of different file formatting and how to get one piece te of technology to speak to another is, is pretty important, at least for our programming librarians and our frontline staff members who might be helping the public with their meetings. A unique piece of software that libraries use is called ILS, an integrated library system. You probably know it better as the digital catalog, um, but that is kind of what we use to track all of our inventory, check out books, create new users, and run reports. Um, so it looks like the catalog from the public's view, but on the back end we have a couple different more bells and whistles that we have to be trained in. So on top of all those other di different bits of technology, we also um, to varying degrees across staff members need to be literate in the more common uh, computer programs and softwares, helping patrons out with their tablets and phones for our digital resources and accessing our apps and making sure that we can help and troubleshoot on different printing concerns, faxing concerns, um, even how laminating, uh, we do that on occasion too, and we even have a cricket here at the library. That's all on top of the other questions that come flooding through our doors, so it's, it's a pretty fast-paced environment. If anyone thinks that librarians are just sitting and reading, um, they haven't watched the librarian at work in a while, so hopefully this helps. So to close the library, we often will um, kind of start at the back of the library, working our way forward, letting patrons know that are in our study areas or just doing their final browsing that the library is closing before we do our closing procedures. And this is just for safety, but it's also just to kind of wake people out of their study stupors and get them on their way to their next destination. As you can see, there's a lot of different things that librarians do throughout the day, and it really just depends on who walks through our door. We really try to meet people where they are and make sure that they're leaving our doors a little bit better. As the director, I work with a, ver a variety of people. I have my wonderful staff that I have the pleasure of working with, as well as the public. That's kind of the main day in and day out. But I also work with a full library board that helps advise me on you know, what I'm doing, on where the, the direction of the library, as well as different service individuals, such as delivery, in, uh, delivery drivers for our materials, uh, tech individuals from our cooperative system that helps with that and then different members of the community too in, in partnerships or school districts and other nonprofits and just anyone else that's got a good idea that they need a partner to help out with. So the first thing that you want to keep in mind uh, with being a librarian is the fact that privacy is at the heart of what we do. Privacy and access. 
So if you, you want to be able to respect the individuals coming through your door and their inquiries, but also protect their data on the back end and their access to that information. There's not a lot of opportunities where an individual can interact with kind of a governmental structure in complete autonomy and having that ability to just exist freely in a space. And so that's what we try to provide here as well as other services. And I think that it's really important for librarians to understand that responsibility and to act with the highest esteem of the community. Transparency is at the forefront of what we try to offer our community and not only what their rights are, but what we can offer for them as well. I think another big thing is also having an open mind. If you want to learn, you know, be in an environment where you are learning something new every single day and that appeals to you, then this might be something that you want to have a look at.